changing. Welcome to another episode of Changes. My name is Rosalie Feli, and you know what? Today we are talking about panties. Some call it knickers, some call it undies. I don't know what you call it, but almost every woman out there does wear panties. You need to wear panties. Now, today we need to talk about how to even keep those panties. The types that we have, the do's and the don'ts. I mean, there's so much when we talk about panties. Some people can wear one particular panty for a year, two years. How often do we want to or do we have to change our panties? We'll ask these questions right here on the show. And today, my guest is the beast. Beautiful owner of Beautiful Beneath. That's Madam Julia Jaffe. Juliet, welcome. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm very good. It's always good to have you here because you, you have so much knowledge about underwears. And so I'm very, very excited to have you here. Thank you. Right. And also I have Dr. Eva Vera. Hello. Hi, Rosalind. How are you? I'm good. And you? It's your first time being here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you here, though. Same here. It's good right. to be here. So we are going to be talking about the health uh, implications if you don't keep your panties well. We are talking about the types of panties. So if you look at our set, it's beautified with different types of panties. Should I say assorted panties today? So, Juliet, when we talk about panties, underwears, knickers, what are we really talking about? Thank you. Um, panties. It's um, covering one portal entry of bacteria infection getting to us. Um, when we had the no mask issue, mm -hmm. everybody had to cover their mouth as a port of entry of germs. Right. So if you look at the human body, that's another port of entry that mm -hmm. anything can enter you mm -hmm. or come out. So with underwear, since we are looking for the I ninety uh, the what the ninety the ninety five the, the yeah. good um, no mask. If you don't use the good nose marks, gems can still go through your nose marks. Mm -hmm. The same way with undergarments. You have to use um, the very good ones. If not, gems and bacteria and infection will get into you and you'll get sick. Right. So you have right. to look for um, the best underwear mm. to protect. You. And when we talk about the best underwear, what are we looking at? Is it the quality? Is it the shape? Is it the style? What makes it the best? Something that you're comfortable in. And usually I say that it doesn't matter what style you do because we are different body shapes. So um, somebody will prefer thong. Me, for instance, because I've um, I had three C-sections, okay. my belly is like this big. So mm -hmm. I can do um, a bikini because okay. it's going to give me a muffin top. It's going to cut me where it's not supposed to cut me. So I'll do a higher cut, which okay. will come up higher and cover me nicely. Oh, is this a panty? Because I thought yeah, this was a, like, a, this you have to wear a panty before a panty. you wear them. No, oh, this right. is a panty. So what most importantly you look for is um, where it comes to your crotch, okay. like where it comes to your vagina. It has to be cutting. So no matter what style you're doing, if you're doing a thong, you still look have to look for this part that is going mm. to your, your private part to okay. be cutting so that um, you don't get infection. Okay, so I'm excited about this particular uh, cotton you spoke about because we've had so many uh, myths about silk panties and all of that and that it has to be always cotton, cotton, cotton. But now you're telling me the cotton has to be just around the crouch area. Sure. So it's not the whole panty that has to be yes. cotton. Okay, all right. I mean, you can be wearing your silk panties for um, your date nights, for um, whatever, but you're not gonna wear it for so long. So your basic panties should be like cutting, so that you, you um, the air there it's breathable. Okay. So that you cannot, it doesn't breed any bacteria or infections. But what you look for, if even it's silk panty that you're mm -hmm. wearing, no matter how skimpy it is, it should always have um, a cotton crotch. Okay. This is for date night, so obviously this one. You don't need it. You're going to wear it just for... So this, this is a different type of panty I'm looking at right now. <laughs> yes. this, this is like a uh, date, complete date sure. night. This what makes it a date, date night. night? It's crotchless. So this part is open. So you don't need to take your panty off if you're doing... Um, if jiggy, you're, jiggy. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. So this, um, it doesn't have um, the cutting crotch, but you're not wearing it every day. It's just okay. for... For fun, so yes, for your date night panties. Mm. But it doesn't matter what style you're doing. If this is a thong, but it still have um, a the cotton crotch. Okay. So no matter what style you're doing, no matter how lazy, how sexy you want to go, it still have to have um, the cotton crotch for it to um, breathe and not breed bacteria. Okay. Now there are also types that you 
available sure. of course you were talking about um, the body style or the body shape and you have to wear a longer panty what other types do we have so we have the thongs which is um basic like everybody needs a thong um so most people hate it can we show you to the camera so, the so there's a thong so there's a thong basically there's a thong panty okay um most people don't like it but um once you have find a comfortable one this is a very comfortable one you will fall in love with it you need to try it okay um, then we have um basic bikinis this is a bikini oh this is not a grandma panty no this is my grandma panty grandma panties are huge and big my daughter calls it a pillowcase <laughs> um, because when she was young i used to buy her panties and she goes like i don't want I don't want the grandma pants. I don't want pillowcase. I'm like, what is pillowcase? <laughs> and that's and she goes like, panty. mommy, it gives me wedgie. And I realized that even though she's young, you still yeah. have to look for um, good underwear for your daughters. Because right. I used to just pick a pack for her. Mm -hmm. Although I was a lingerie expert, I thought she's, she's young. She just doesn't need... Um, but she once told me, mommy, it gives me wedgie. I don't want the pillowcase panty. Okay, so which yes. one is this one? This is a brief. Okay. So it's big, but if it's not your right size, it's gonna it's gonna move into your your your, your buttocks. Okay. Yes, and it will give you wedgie, and it's uncomfortable. So right. it has to fit you. So you have to know your body. Which means it has to cover your whole bum. Yes. Okay. And stretch it to cover your whole bum. So if you're just going for a big underwear, just mm -hmm. because it's big, it will it will chafe you. It okay. will go into your but yeah your yeah. Then you have half in, half out. Sure. Then, Very uncomfortable. Yes, wedgie, okay. and it's just gonna irritate your skin. And okay. It's infection starts from there too. Right. Now I've seen some. Uh, the, the they look like men boxes. Are they for ladies? Yes. yes. Okay. So these are just uh, still um, a brief style, but it's for ladies. Very right. comfortable. Um, hundred percent cotton, and um, you you pass feel it. Sure. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, it feels so good. Yes. So it does should, feel very good. Very comfortable. Cover your whole body. Okay. So that um, there's no infection. Right. Now, there. let me come to Doc uh, here because uh, this conversation, we have to also know the health implications if you don't choose the right panties. Right. So if I decide to choose a panty like a thong and um, uh, I, I keep wearing it. Does it have any health implications? Because I have mothers and our grandmothers tell us you don't have to be wearing thong all the time. <laughs> How true is this? And what's the, what's the health um, implication? I think Julia started off very well for me. So I'll just add on to what she said earlier on. So like she rightly said, um, we advise women to wear, or men in general and women to also wear cotton panties because they are more breathable. When we say they are breathable, it means that they don't keep the place moist. The place isn't damp. Mm -hmm. There's enough air moving around the place. There's not heat concentrated there, which could cause the change or alter the normal microbiological environment of your crotch. Let me just use the right. term you're using mm -hmm. it here. Um, in that area. Now, when you use um, the silk or nylon tags, which keeps the place just around the vulva area or the vaginal area, mm -hmm. it keeps the place um, very, very dry. It keeps the place. It keeps heat there and then you are predisposed to getting recurrent infections. So you could have a vaginal infection, you'll be treated for it, but because you keep wearing the same kind of panties, it becomes a recurring thing with you. And you probably think it's because you're probably not being well attended to, but it's these little things that actually sometimes delay your health care and oh. they don't help you to achieve the target that we want you to get. But are there any health implications with thongs as well? Um, the health, what I can say with thongs is if, if you're wearing a thong and it, uh, if you're wearing the skimpy ones, mm -hmm. like if you're wearing a very skimpy thong, it goes through your anus and takes some feces and you're wearing it again, it, it can move to your your, your vagina. Um, vagina right so it's not it's not so sure but so if it's, it's a comfortable one that is not chafing or like moving around wow. it's, you're fine yeah. but once but it's um it's something very skimpy and you know that it's uncomfortable on you then it's just rubbing is the thong the same as the string the string is yeah. different but okay. wait, just just different. to add to that one aside yeah. um fecal matter moving to your crotchy area another thing it does when it's too tight it can irritates the skin around that area, 
creates a barrier through which other microorganisms could get into your body and then you could get other infections. Oh. Because it becomes, you know, when, you, when for instance, you take your watch or your stuff off, you mm -hmm. see the demarcation it lives there. Yes. So when it starts around that area, it can cause, irritate the skin, create a little cut through your skin, and then it becomes an entry point for microorganisms that are not supposed to get into the body. Right. So yeah. what? If you are wearing a thong or a string, what you have to do, it has to be bigger than... The, the 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 actual size or what? Um, I to wouldn't say bigger, it but on the shoe. So it shouldn't be so skimpy that this is a string. Okay, sure. Yeah. So with your ass like yes, <laughs> you and, and, go there. And, and it might dig, it might go straight in there. So you're not wearing this for long, like I said. It's okay. just for a date night. It's, it's just for nice. for you wearing some clingy dress and you just want this. Okay. Um, to wear because you don't want your underwear to show you wearing a match you you have a game so yes. you want to look sexy okay so it's just not for long not for every day so yes. this is just for um so it, um, it won't um cause any harm it's not like your everyday panty okay just for um date nights and those things okay then you use and this. right after date night you just have to put it down because sure. it can actually irritate the yes. skin yes, yes. right so I mean, people have to spend a little more to get finer fabrics mm. because that's the point. Because this feels like heaven. Let me touch feel it. it. But people will think it's underwear and they don't want to spend money. Spend, much, spend money. much money on mm. it, and that's when they well, get. Yeah, it they doesn't get feel too nothing. Elastic, yeah. but it's so that's when they get all these cheaper brands, and it, it will yeah. it will cost you more right. um, problem. Now, then. what about the silk panties? Doesn't it give? You know, when some ladies shave and they don't have enough air going to um, the surface area. They get bumps. Could it be a result of the type of panty they use? Definitely. So if you're not wearing a good pant, like we have a, um, a way to check. Okay. I mean, if you're wearing a good panty, there's no way that it will have the irritation. Right. So if you're wearing something that is not very, a fine fabric, it's mm -hmm. not fine fabric, it's not used, um, you'll get the irritation and um, definitely will get, get bumps. Bump. And a little bump starts from there will like lead to a lot else. of right bigger health problems let's talk about some of the health problems that bumps can lead to so before we even go to the health sure. problems you know we don't advise that when you're shaving you shave everything off 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 just leave a little tiny bit over there because the point is any irritation any cuts through that side will be the source, source of infection okay. so some would shave it as bare as Waxing, <laughs> but some actually go for the, the, wax. the, the wax. No, they have names for it now. Now there's the Brazilian wax, and yeah, there's uh, all Brazilian those. Brazilian wax is taking like it's the sides I mean, and leaving just a strip, sure. right? I have Brazilian panty on so okay. that's the way they, they will shave it, right. okay? And some people want it like. Clean. Clean. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. Very, Nothing yeah. there. I mean, if your partner wants to clean, it doesn't matter what health it's giving you. Oh. It's not to get, do it. To <laughs> no, it is important <laughs> because. Tell us. See, it's there are various structures in the body. Mm -hmm. The hair is attached to, let me say, a follicle through which there are other structures it leads into. Now, when you break it off, and then the during the course of shaving and all that, you don't do it properly. Like I said earlier on, there are various points that will become. A source of your infection for you. It gets in there, it creates the bump, then much other microorganisms go feast in there. Then before you realize it, it's changed your normal, exciting smell of your vagina and now it becomes offensive. Okay. Yeah, so in as much as you'd want to shave and please your, ma your man, they've also got to understand that there are health implications of having to wax the place as though you have a bald I didn't know that something. shaving could actually affect the smell of the place. Oh, yeah, it could. It's all about your health hygiene. If you shave and you don't shave properly, and then there are bumps that are formed there, which later become infectious, then you could possibly have sure. affect the place. Okay, I see. Because there are some medical conditions that have to do with your hair follicles. And when the uh, microorganisms collect there, they form something we call a pus. And pass when it's discharging, it's, it's offensive. Right. Yes. Now, what, isn't there any particular fabric that you can... Because, of course, like uh, Juliet said, they want to clean shave. <laughs> so is there a particular type of fabric that I can so get the, in the panty that can prevent all this? organic panty. Okay. So with this organic panties, although we say cotton, the organic panty... Um, organic cotton means nothing. They didn't use fertilizer to grow the cotton. Okay. They didn't use any, it's fine, it's the best, it's organic, like the way we, now we want to eat organic food. So if you're buying a panty, forget about you buying cotton. If you find the organic one, that's the best, best, best. Oh. 
because oh. they, they didn't use fertilizer to grow the cotton. Mm. They didn't use uh, artificial dyes to dye the panty. Mm. Everything is organic. So it's like eatable. Okay. So if you're wearing this, like you're wearing the best underwear. So meaning if you wear this, then the, the chance of you getting all these bumps Inf are low. Yes, Infections low. are low. Nothing. Yeah. Right. Especially if you're sensitive. Like mm -hmm. some people are so sensitive. Yeah. Like mm. I'm, I'm very sensitive. So it you has to be use. like something perfect. If not, the next day, like you might have some infection. sort of infection. Yeah. And, and like the young okay. girls, um, like young girls going for like going to secondary school now, it's better to spend extra money to let them get 100% cotton panties because the bathroom they're going to use is different. Mm -hmm. they, so they're going to pick up a lot different. of things. So if their panties is not like cotton? on point yes. and cotton, and our temperature doesn't help, our climate. Mm. So if you're wearing anything, heat, yes. it's oh, just true. there. And the heat doesn't breathing. help. Now, talking mm. about the, the, the climate not helping, are there particular colors one should wear? Because I, I have realized that a lot of women like to wear black panties. Because it's it's actually you know easy. Uh, it doesn't show in your outfit. You don't have any it kind doesn't. of it, yes. If you wear the grandmother panties in the black one, body corn, it was so <laughs> <laughs> so I get what you're saying. I mean, um, black. We we. I mean, we inter usually do black in everything, but black bring heat. That's, that's mm. So you should definitely um, not be doing black, black, black like a lot. Like there are a lot. Like these are like very pastel um, yeah. colors that you can always um, use. But if you're doing something white, then you cannot do a color like like um, light colors under it. Because yes. it's gonna, you're gonna see it right away. So mm -hmm. apart from doing um, something white that if you don't do a darker shade under it, we're gonna see it through you, you can do any color. Okay, yes, right. Not necessarily black, black. But the, the black actually attracts heat. Yes. It's heat. Mm -hmm. It retains more heat than white. Yes. Right. Or the other colors. Yeah, so black will just bring heat then. Mm. Mm -mm. Which can bring more smell. It will bring more smell. More yes. smell. Now, talking about the, the, the whole infection bed, mm. candy, candidiasis, candidiasis and all of that, does it mean that any time you get an infection, you have to throw away all your panties? <laughs> no. <laughs> so okay, it depends how many you have. Right. So if you, if you know that I got candidiasis, I got antibiotics, and I took them, and I'm still. Um, it's reoccurring. Like you have to um, take stock of your panties at a point in time, put them in the washer, hot water, hang them outside for fresh air for mm. it to dry under the sun. You know, then it's fine. But if you wear it and you're still getting the infection, that means all your underwear you have must to, be thrown away. You have to get rid of them because mm. taking a lot of antibiotics. It also has its own. Like, yes, it's the worst. Right. Yeah, and the way Ghana, we can all go to a um, pharmacy and just take advantage of it. Advantage. But the time it we realize help. everybody in Ghana it cannot. Yes. 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 How many times uh, does one have to change their panties in a month? Oh, in a month, like you should change your panties like after six months, depending how many you have. Okay. So if you just have a few of them, you go through them quickly and you have to probably change it often but right. if you have quite sizable amount like if you have like a dozen um plus your know, different sort of things that you'll be wearing for your date lines for your um your thongs for your basic um but your basic pants is at least you should have 12. yeah 12 at, least. Mm -hmm. at least at least yeah for six for months. your basic for your panties. basic mm -hmm. okay so which ones are the basic panties we're talking about these ones yes like the cotton okay bikinis this is your basic panties you wear right. every single day. Yeah, these are your basic, and you should have more of these. So these should, you should minimum of 12 of basic panties. Basic minimum panties. of how many for thongs? <laughs> I mean, if you're a thong <laughs> person, then your minimum will be the same as, because some people just live in thongs. They, okay. You yeah. don't wear anything about yeah. thongs. Yeah. So a thong can be somebody's basic. Mm. Right. A bikini can be somebody's basic. Mm. A high cut can be somebody's basic. Some right. of us, we have pouches mm. from our surgery. So, I mean, that's our basic every day. Right. Like, we can't do bikini because bikini will just hit us wrong mm -hmm. and our belly will pop out. So, to do a higher cut, that will at least come to the uh -huh. level and cover, give us some sort of support and cover our belly for us. Okay. If not, we'll be jiggling all of us. Jiggling all of that. Now, what we need to know is uh, the type of passing I am and the type of fabric that suits my body type yes are there anything like that so if you know that you are very sensitive then you're going for the organic panties um 
let me open this one so you can feel it um this is very um this is the organic panty yes it's organic panty it's um i haven't touched it yet but i'm feeling the <laughs> fabric already it yes. feels so smooth from where i'm sitting yes. i think i have panties I, no i i'm seeing <laughs> before somebody start imagine what i wear <laughs> um so see how very it's lighter right. very light very breathable very light. like mm. there's mm. no way so that can be um your basic um, um for you every day yeah. um i love the band so what this tucks in the belly a little bit right yes it stays in place you know some panties will be rolling over mm. so just when you wear it like you're done it okay. stays in place you can't wear it under anything okay um, okay this is for us with a c-section belly okay. it has it has wider right. mm -hmm. so it comes up higher say so high cut leg mm. then it comes up higher to cover your belly mm. for you and this can be somebody's basic so every day every this is what day. you're wearing 100 okay. percent cotton 100 percent cotton mm -hmm. now we want to take a break on this note so when we come back we do have more to share we need to know how to preserve our panties because it's something that a lot of ladies don't know how to do when they bath they wash it they hang it in their <laughs> bathroom and they feel that's all right but i think there's more to preserve so do stay with us <laughs> Welcome back and of course today we'll be going on the street to speak to people who need to know you know how they keep their panties and all of that on the show uh it's something i need to talk about but then i have juliet here she's an expert in underwears undergarments when we talk about all the undergarments don't look anywhere just look at beautiful beneath julia james is right here and she's helping us to understand how to select our panties of course i have dr eva vera who is also helping us when it comes to the health uh, implications if we don't keep our panties well now let's talk about how to keep those panties People wash their panties and hang it in the bathrooms. Is it the right thing to do? I mean, if it, um, every day, if you just want to wash it so that it doesn't sit there for mm -hmm. the smell, you can just do it quickly and leave it in the bathroom. Okay. But once in a while, like at the end of the month, you have to bring all your panties out, soak them, wash them very well, and um, use, you have to use some, some, um, some, um, Antiseptic. some detergents irritates there the elasticity okay. and stuff so it will, okay. it will spoil your pants so okay. use something delicate okay and when you're done just hang it outside for it to dry under the sunshine so although during the day or something you wash and live in your bathroom mm -hmm. and you come and you feel like it'll be so hard you'll be like uh then you put it on once in a while take them all out wash, wash them, them and hang them outside this the once in a while how many times a month are we looking at this no once a, like it depends once how a many, month how many times minimal. you go through your panties right i know people that um, um just after the morning they'll go and change mm -hmm. or they just want or how how you sweat right like, yes right because some people are outside and they sweat a lot so immediately you sweat or you go to the gym in the morning mm -hmm. and you sweat you just have to wash clean and put a new underwear on because if you're still staying in um your underwear that you work out in you have the moist there and will just go up there for infection so immediately you done gym you come to wash so it depends how many you've gone through right within if even it's a week at the end of the week that you do that it depends mm. how many you have and how many how many times you go through your you panties. go through that right now are there special panties for menses during that time of the month yes so before we move to that okay I mean, in drying the panties i know that's the way we dry it can i just okay one? sure so when you're done washing it after probably a month or two weeks I usually we don't advise you just dry it this way but because we want to try and kill as much microorganisms mm -hmm. it's better to allow the sun to hit the, oh, the crouch area yes. okay because you know our sun has a lot of ultraviolet trees which can help to kill the microorganisms then when you're done if you want to be overly meticulous you can decide to iron it 
<laughs> to kill sure. more my So you need to iron your pants. Yeah, especially pay attention to this part because sure. this is where it's going to sit in there. Okay. So we dry it like this. So if, if let's say the dry line, mm -hmm. you, you turn it um, inside out. Perfectly. And then you dry it like that. No. So, so you, you have to dry it like this. Yes. So if you dry, <laughs> yes, so you're drying it this way, this way, so this part okay. can face the sun. Right, and then we are saying that we are killing all the microorganisms. No, so how is the face? Because if the peg, so where does the mm. peg hold? So I mean, if you're hanging them in succession, you could pull it up this way. We don't want it to touch this part, so okay. you should just touch it and then some a little bit away oh, from it. So right. it, it depends on how you want. Some would want to do it two pegs per panties. Others would want to line all of them up together and then do that. So okay, it so it still has to come up, so the yes, sun hits so it yes, direct. Yes. So it's not to the side, no, not to no. the bottom, but to the Because this, this is not where headers. we touch stuff, please. Okay. I mean, yeah. And if possible, make sure you iron after. Yeah, right. Possible. It would help yeah. a lot. Okay. Once in a while, you iron your panty. So, ladies, uh, if you've never ironed your panty <laughs> before, you've learned that on this show. You need to iron your panties. Okay, so aside that, we, we're going to talk about the, the, the menstrual panties. Yeah. It's another thing altogether. Um, um, well, I personally don't think there should be any specific but you can pants. But you can use your thong. You can use your thongs, so of course. So, you might use your bikini yeah. for the young girls. Okay. And um, for us bigger women. Use the we just go with These our ones. big um, brief style right. to do it. Mm. Yeah, because the pad is easier to absorb the pad. Yeah. And, um, and the wings being around Wings it. around it is fine. And people that even use the tampons, they need to at least, you need to line your panty up with just with a panty liner right. in case anything leak out of the tampon, you still right. have to protect yourself. Right. So bikinis are the best option. Mm. Um, your style Let's see the bikini again. For those out there who want to see the bikini panties, yeah. these are the bikini yeah, panties that uh, we advise that you use during your menses. You can use any panty, but advisable so that you use like these the, ones. Yeah, okay, yeah. which sits comfortable. But then you know one thing about these panties, it actually draws uh, uh, in your outfit all the time. So how do you hide it? So these are a laser cut. There's a laser cut panty, so there's no seams for sewer. Okay. So it depends. Where, if the bikinis work well with um. Like smaller these bikinis, bands. not smaller bands. It's very, it just, I mean, they, it's, it's, it has evolved before you, even you see a bikini, it will be so big a hem. That's true. Now it's not that bad. Okay. Okay. It's not that well, bad. That's true. I that's mean, true. Pay, so far as you're not wearing a body con, it wouldn't show as much. But if you need, you're wearing a body con, then you need um, this laser cut. So this can actually do with a body con, although it's a full pants. Yes, yes. Because and it won't not, show. It won't show. There's no line, no visible pants line. But then you need to wear your size. Because if it's smaller, it's all... Definitely, definitely. So you okay. need to wear your size in anything you're wearing. Right. That's very important. So you have to get comfortable. So nothing that is, if it's not your size, it's going to irritate you. Mm. Right. It's going to chafe you when you're walking. It's going to be irritating your skin mm -hmm. and there's going to be bruises mm -hmm. and the next thing, infection. So anything you're wearing should be comfortable. Right. Once it's not comfortable, it's not yours. It's, it's not, not your not size. Your it's not, yes. Mm. Let's talk about the body sizes and the type of, uh, I, I don't want to say the type of panty, but the fabric pant that they use for the panties. Do we have anything like that? Because probably a bigger person... So now, might... every, 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 every style, we okay. have every person's, because it doesn't matter what style you do, All right. or what size you are, we have sizes for you. So this is a big, big panty. And, and what, what, what's this the name a, of this type of panty? So this is a boy leg. Okay. It's a boy leg, but the size is 1X. So extra, extra large. Like. Right. So every style, we have a size in it. Mm. So it doesn't matter what you're wearing. You should be able to find... Um, no matter yes. the fabric. No matter what the fabric, you're going to find your style okay. um, to wear. But we're talking about selection of fabrics. How do I select the right fabric for my body type? So what are you going to do is before you buy underwear, or you just have to pick um, different fabrics. Like this is a silk fabric. So if I come to buy underwear, I'll take one cell fabric, my size, but it's the same style. It's going to be a boy leg cotton, a boy leg the style. So you pick your the options. Range. If, yes, if a boy leg is your style. You pick different boy leg styles. Okay. Wash it, try it on, and see I'm comfortable with this. Then you come and get a, a, a more of what you, you want. Mm. So if you like lace panties, I usually like, like the lace ones. panties. Okay. Because look, it's very pretty on. 
So this is a very flat lace. It wouldn't show in your clothes unless it's a bodycon dress. Okay. So this, like I said, the most important thing, this is, is a cotton, cotton. cotton lined. So you can still do pretty, but um, still feel sexy and like you do. Uh, but if you wear bodycons, can you wear this as well? If it, you... dep it depends how bodycon it is. Okay. If it's, that clingy is very tacky to see a panty line. Very, so, very tacky. So you do no line panty, okay. which will be nice. Which I is, mean, okay. you have pretty styles that are no line um, that you can do that you don't have to, um, or you can just go with your thong. Yeah. For your body converse. I think with the thong, the thongs are safer. I don't know how, but they are safer I mean, to wear your body clothes, yeah, right? Definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely. Eva, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I think I mean more comfortable <laughs> exactly. to wear than, than this. Uh, yes, you, you you feel comfortable in the yeah. thong, don't you? Yeah. And um, you know, but I don't know why there the, people keep saying when you keep wearing thong for a longer period, you get infections. No, like I said, if, if 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 I if you are wearing the body con. Um, thong, and you know how to clean your nash with your, um, with your, um, ba ba your, your baby wipe very well. Okay, you won't have infection. But some people are just like they are dirty. You know, mm. let me not cut in. There's a way to clean. Yeah. Okay, you clean from front back. It's not back front. So when you clean from the back to the front, you, bring you are them. bringing the microorganisms there, in there to actually come and then happily multiply there. Sure. So when you're doing that and you're wearing the tongue, you definitely, you're just, just killing yourself. So, you so it's how we clean and what we wear. Sure. They're yeah. all part of it. And Julius made a point. You said you have to baby wipe. Yeah, so if you yeah, use baby wipe to wipe properly. So Before you wear your panty all yes. the time. Or when you use a bathroom, you, if you wipe use properly. Just don't thing. use the one with the fragrance. Use the basic yeah. one because the fragrance yeah. might also it, it um, change your yeah. okay. pH yeah. and all yeah. that. Okay. Um, then what? what about using normal tissue? Is that okay? I mean, it depends. Don't use those tissue that are outside. Fluffy. The fluffy ones. Yeah. Use a very nice, nice. like... Yeah, you know that different... Yeah, yeah different very, types. Yes. Very, if it's not, nice. always keep the little makeup um, thing. Yeah. Makeup cleaner. Like and the one with no fragrance. Yes, yeah, just put in your handbag as a lady. Mm. You always need to refresh and so just have that in your bag. <laughs> yeah. You heard? Right here on the show. <laughs> yeah. So you can wipe clean. Because yeah. if you're not wiping clean, like you mm -hmm. said, it's going to drag it. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it has to be. Really and then, like you said, when it starts sucking, so it moves a little, you try to adjust it. And by the time you realize you've picked it from that, that side, friendly side, to that place, sure. and then it changes. So that's it. Right. Yes. So, with people who have big bumps, what's the panty you advise them to wear, Juliet? I mean, you. <laughs> you need to wear this. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay. So this this is for pregnant women. So it, it has Julian. room. It has room for pregnant women. But um, Rosalind needs to wear a big panty so that he's not juggling when she comes to work. So Rosalind, this is your panty. It will cover everything. And when you are walking, yeah, you are walking. It's gonna be covered. Especially some some. Ushers, you go to church. You, and, you go to church, and the usher sitting the man down. Like, oh my God, this usher is making the man sin already. <laughs> they have this thong on, and you see the whole, and they are walking to go sit the person. Like, the man is already sinning. Like, the usher is making. <laughs> but yeah, but, so you but need to. You need to come. So what? You have panties sure. that will hold It'll you. Hold, hold it, you. So it doesn't. Hold hold you. You. Yes. Okay. You're not juggling. It's not Thank professional. You. If you're going to work, right. if you are going, you are the church usher. Like. Please you don't have to juggle. Yeah, please be decent. Right. Wear a very nice panty that's covering you, holding you in place. Don't walk sitting with some, a man as an usher and like... <laughs> Not at all. But you know, there's a myth that when you wear thong for a longer period, it affects your womb. Is this true? I mean, like, it, mm, the, no. the only thing we're saying is no, you, you're you going to get the infection and it start going up. Yeah. Like, okay. Yes, that's right. the only that's, thing. That's it. That's so if you don't take good care you don't of your material okay. and even take good care of that environment, okay. that's when it I mean, even like your panties, if you're not taking care of it and you get recurring okay. um, if yeast infection, fungi will grow there. They will stay there comfortably because mm. the place is moist. They're mm -hmm. always happy. Mm -hmm. um, you still get the infection and as the infection goes up, Infertility, yes. Infertility, that's yep. so true. And the one thing when the middle of probably possible sexual transmission, sexually transmitted infections, she could lead to infertility. Yeah, right. What's going on there? there are so many ladies who also end up wearing their panties again right after sex. Is it advisable? You have to get rid of it. 
I mean, you don't have drawers at that moment, so you have to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wear it. But when you get out of the shower before you wear it, yeah, I, I mean, if, if once you, you shower, you, shower you can't wear it. Exactly. Wear the same. I mean, showering and wearing so, the same panty. So that's what I'm saying. In your handbag, you should have extra panty, extra baby wipe. Oh, you need to have an extra yes, panty all the time. in case of any emergency. Okay. Yeah. So we need, there's even disposable panties that you can yeah. always have. You can always throw it out. Yeah, if not, always have a little, um, if, even it's a Ziploc bag. You have your disposable panties, you have your baby wipe, like little feminine things. Doesn't matter how your bag is, just something small with it's all those accru thing. things you need in the, the disposable panty. So it's just usually for um, um, C section or people that just have surgery. Oh, and right. so it's something very light that you yeah. can always keep in your bag and you can always throw it out. It's, it doesn't cost much. Mm. So everybody needs that in their bag in case of any emergency. Um, they have a name for it in Makola, the condom panty, something. It's oh, really? Like it stretches. It's just light. Really? Okay. Yeah, so it's just um, something stretchy. So it's being sold in Makola everywhere? Yeah. And you yes. sell it as well? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, right. Yes. I mean, the name, that's the name I wanted to say. Okay. So it's just something just for you to throw out. The interim. So mm -hmm. after one wear, you can't wash it? No. No. no you okay, you need to throw it out. away. It's disposable. <laughs> I like how Dr. Ayla said, no, it's disposable. <laughs> right, you don't want to see any emergency. No, I don't, no. <laughs> right, now there are people who spray or perfume their panties. Is it advisable? Um, um, no. I mean, you going out, you can't put the perfume anywhere else. If you want to smell but if you want to smell good for your man, do probiotics, do yogurt, do something to, to get a very nice yeah. smell. But perfume there, please put it here. Is, is it not going to be here? <laughs> No, but why do you feel then? In your panty, yeah. Like, people do. People no, use it. It means you're not keeping the place well. Okay. If you're keeping the place well, it has a good smell. Even if you go through the whole things for hours. Mm. I mean, if you charge us in the morning and you get back home as a work, the place still smells good. Mm. It's true. It's, yeah. it's you're not keeping yourself well. That's what we're keeping. So definitely you have an infection going yeah. on. You need to see a doctor. And once in a while, people need to eat um, probiotic yogurt. Which is very important. Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, honestly, I, I, sometimes I, somebody will take off their clothes in the fitting room to try something on. Don't record it, and you be like, "What is this? What is fun? going on?" Like, so people need to. Um, you, you know, you know. What about pineapples? Let's we'll talk yeah. about a little bit about those fruits, mm -hmm. how it can it affect can your pH sure, 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 there. Definitely. So let's go for a break. But then we're going on the street to ask a few ladies how many panties they own, how do they keep their panties, and uh, what's their favorite type of panty? Do they? Rosalind, as you can see behind me, are a beautiful display of panties. Today on the streets of Accra, we are getting interactive with ladies, getting to know how many panties they own, the type of panties they would prefer. Is it the false panty or the store panty? And then how best they even keep them? This is the Spice Up segment with me, Asegua. I actually have 50. How many? 50. So how do you keep them? Oh... Um. Because when I, after bathing, I just wash them a little, then put it down. Then on weekends, when I'm washing, I wash them again with just hot water, put it on it after washing, and wait a little before I dry it. Like 20. So, um, how do you keep the panties that you have, the 20 that you have? How do you keep them? So, I wear like two in a day. I pile them down, then wash, soak, and wash everything during weekends. Go. How many panties do you have? Mm -hmm. A lot of panties. I have a lot. I like panties. I have a lot of panties. So how best do you keep the panties? Okay, I don't wash them one after the other. I just group them and I wash them. Hey, three, me three, me five, three, me five, three, me five. Hey, they you can't to Hey, three, me five, three, me five. Hey, mommy, poor mommy, poor the fat one. Hey, me five, five, three, me five. So let's look at the false panties. Uh, are people buying it? Small, small, eh, because maybe the only story that will be answered that no one can wear it, so will be by our pay. Benny ball and no was throw a hand, you know. I'm off on tonic, I can't crap. Basically, you have to tune in to me, in fact, 
Mr. Obai, maybe the Kakrebi in the Guhonum because he say in Timinto, ne boarding path is almost say, no less than a costro. Mr. Missy Council, to make quack it to Ebi, Namafa. Rosalind, as you can see behind me, I display of different panties. Well, there you have it, Rosalind. I throw it back to you in the studio with Auntie Juliet and Dr. Eva Vera. This has been the Spices segment with me, Asedua. Welcome back. Of course, the people have told us what they're doing. Now we know what the ladies are doing, but there's one question that we need to ask, you know, keeping the whole place neat. Uh, what to eat to give us the best of smells there? And of course, Julius earlier was talking about yogurt, eating of yogurt. We've heard of eating of pineapples and all of that. How true is this, Dr. Eva? Well, it's more of keeping, I think they help. Mm. Pineapples, I know pineapples help. Okay. I know watermelon also helps okay. a lot. Yeah, but so I heard that watermelon makes it watery. Is it true? Makes what watery? Makes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. So I mean, the, I mean, there are various times in a woman's cycle, okay. and there are various secretions that come out. Okay. There are times when the secretions that come out are very watery, and there are times when they are thick. All those periods or different secretions let you know whether you are fertile enough to possibly get, um, whether it's conducive enough for you to get pregnant or not. But Pineapple, watermelon, watermelon, make it watery. watery. Yeah, not at all. No, what about not that I know of. But can you eat apples as well? Yeah, apples um, are yes, good. yes, to balance your pH. Mm, um, yeah. um, they have probiotic um, tablets, okay. um, capsules that you can take. Okay. But yogurt is the best um, option that you can just eat, and the place will be um, clean, and there wouldn't be. You don't have to use. Is there perfume. a particular type of yogurt, or is just a? Uh, no. Um, yogurt, the Greek no yogurt, sugar. no sugar. No sugar. Yes, okay. it's it's a it's, uh, it's a good bacteria. Mm. So anything that will just because you don't want um, you need bacteria like you need the pH balance. So the pro bacteria helps helps okay. like yeah to make the ice cream. So you don't have to use perfume. No you can put the perfume anywhere in your body, but don't, don't. Not there. Not there. Not I've, there. I've seen some girls spray their perfume like, before. Uh, pe they their perfume pants. their panty before they wear it. That's no. irritating. No, it's not no, good. It's going it's to okay. bring another infection. We are even talking about using a very delicate um, soap to wash it. Now I'm going to ask about the soaps. Are there any types of soaps that you have to use to wash your panty or any soap can wear? No, no, we have to, you don't have to use, you have to use, um, the, they have um, sensitive ones. Like the ones that you use for your silk fabrics, delicate. Yes, that's what you use. Mm. Not um, not just the any harsh ones. Yes, yeah. no harsh ones. Right. Because it will it will spoil. It will make. It will spoil the texture. The texture over time. and over time, and that is what is gonna. And it can start affect you. Can it affect your skin as well? Yes, yeah. that's when it's gonna start the irritating and okay. infection. Right. Yes. Okay. Now let's also talk about you know those who use the. The lemon and uh, the the orange, you know, some of them use it around the crouch area to prevent smell. Is it advisable? So, <laughs> you see, the point is, you can use them, but it just shouldn't get too close to the main vagina. You can probably use it in between your thighs, around. Well, you want to keep yourself clean. I don't know what what really you want to take out. But it just shouldn't get there because it's acidic. Mm. And there's a normal pH in that area. There's a normal pH in every part of our body. Okay. Now, when you go in and you alter it, you actually allow other opportunistic bacteria to thrive there, and then you can get the infection. So you could use it if you want to keep yourself clean, but just make sure it doesn't get so close into your vaginal area. Just keep it away for you, your tummy, just if it's through the force if it's possible. Right. But it shouldn't go too far. It shouldn't go too far, yeah. Juliet. I mean, um, people do sit bath, which is very good. So it's yeah. just warm water mm -hmm. and some salt, and you sit in. Yeah. But just don't start inserting or doing anything in there. It's, it's not. Yeah, our body cleans itself. Is, our is, body is advisable. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. okay. Our body cleans itself. It, it, right, doctor? Yeah. It's all cleansing. Yes. So everybody the vagina, has their, it's a self Everybody has their own pH. Yeah. So mine is different. My smell will be different from yours. So yeah. don't don't you try making it a perfume scent. Right. Like putting perfume there. Mm. No, it's not. It's going to change. What about fabric softness? 
can we use it after washing? Then? Yeah, some, yeah. some, the, 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 so you, you have the ones that are very organic, so everything you read, it has to be organic. Okay. You don't want any dyes, any it's going to, yeah, it's going to like irritate your skin. So it's all about irritation of the skin. Now, I, I saw some sexy panties, the crouchless panties. Yes. Who okay. can wear, who cannot wear? Oh, we have the crotchless in all sizes. Everybody, anyone. So far as you want to feel sexy, you have a date night. You're going to have a quickie at somebody's office. You just need it. Juliet so. is a married woman. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You want to you want to send a lunch to your husband, to your husband. <laughs> at the office. <laughs> then yes, you want to like do a quickie mm. without anybody knowing. So you don't so, take so you don't take this, this you off. don't take this off. So it's crotchless. But is it comfortable? It is very comfortable. Very Let's talk about those who don't wear panties. I know mm -hmm. there are some ladies who are of the opinion that when I wear panties, it leaves some smell. So I would rather not wear panties, just let fresh air, you know, circulate the area to prevent all that smell. Is it advisable? Julia, before we come in, the panty is not the source of the smell. It's a combination of so many factors. It's a microbiological environment in there. It's how breathable that area is. Then the pH and how you generally take care of your health. So the panty really doesn't, it's not the one giving you the, the smell. smell, it's you the individual. So you can't attribute to the panties. Right. If you're not wearing panties, then wow, you're going to open yourself up for more microorganisms to get in there. Because you sit in another place, things are flying there, anything is going in there. Come on, Charlie. <laughs> Juliet. I mean, um, going commando, they call it. Um, <laughs> There's a name for it. It's, yes, it's, 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 it's bad because me for, I'm sensitive. There's no way I can do that. Mm. Mm. I will, probably after the two hours, I'll get infection. Like, I, I'll get infection. Right. I'm very sensitive. But um, that's why we, 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 like, use COVID, for instance, when mm -hmm. COVID came. Mm -hmm. If you're not covering your mouth, you get, you get, get some sort of, you get yeah. an infection of yeah. COVID. The same way, if you're not covering that part of entry, you get an infection. You're getting all sort of diseases. Right. So use, if you don't wear panties, just use COVID. When COVID came, how we're supposed to cover this yeah. part of entry, mm -hmm. the same way, that's the only two parts of entries in our body, yeah. this place and that place. Right. So if you're not covering it, you invite Omicron, COVID-19, COVID, whatever. <laughs> that's the same way. So you need to definitely cover, cover it. That in. Right. You cannot. If you are home, you wanna even when you are home, mm. you can do a very nice boxer shorts, um, pajamas, and you're not wearing underwear. Fine, but if you feel like underwear is irritating you enough that you don't want to wear underwear, then you're wearing the wrong underwear. Right. It's simple. What about sleeping at night? Is it advisable to wear underwear when you're sleeping? I mean, it's it's. I always say it's a choice. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can. I wear my grandma drawers to sleep. <laughs> okay. So it's like grandma right. when i want to i don't have any business for anybody coming to touch me okay i wear my grandma panties but if i have a date night i'll wear my sexy thing like i'm always in lingerie honestly okay but if you feel like you don't want to wear underwear do some loose pajamas, pajamas. okay because you're in air conditioning all the air is the entering mind. into you <laughs> and yeah. you don't want to wear underwear like what was the side effects when all the air enters the dock hmm. It's more gems. It's more, you see, I saw people that someone said that, oh, don't sleep under the fan because in Famabekoumu, and you in Famabekoumu, it's the particles on the blades of the fan that get into your nostrils and then you get your chest infections mm -hmm. and the cold the and all that. The same way. Basically the same way. Okay. But when it comes to wearing panties, and I think it's pretty much subjective. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you can if you're wearing something bigger, my dress, and I... Yes. And well covered. You can sleep with that. You can sleep yeah. with it. So it and if you really want to go out. commando, you can go commando, yeah. but don't decide every single, <laughs> every single day of your day, life. No. You don't wear underwear. Okay. Like, yeah, right. You need to at least wear it. Yeah. Because people are of the opinion that you wear it the whole day, so yeah, at yeah. night, when you get it home, to you breathe. Yes, yes, just that like taking off your breath. So it's pretty much on the same Just area. allowing yeah. it to breathe. But it doesn't have to be all the time. All the time. Sure. Right. You know, going out to town and all where, hey, commando, why? But people do, there are so many young ladies. I mean, I know people that will say they don't have. um the, the whatever they are wearing, they cannot wear underwear, so they're gonna go commando. But this mm -hmm. one, Could help. this thing, it's just thick to cover you here. So if you don't need, you, you think like you don't need underwear for whatever clothes you're wearing, at least this one is still there. Which one is this one? Protect, <laughs> this is it. So it's just like this. So it's thick onto this part and this part. So at Amazing. least you. Yeah. Amazing! 
<laughs> it is, it is. Yeah. So this is like, like if you weren't this clingy something that you cannot wear underwear or those dresses that it's all strippy that you cannot even have a line here. Just to cover it. Yes. Okay. At least protect you, yes. So you, there's no way you can go. But this one, can you wear it again or it's, it's, it's actually yes, a disposable? Yeah. You it's can't wash it. You oh, really? Yes. I was thinking it's disposable. I meant to. No, it's, no it's, it has. You know, it's it reminds me of the, you know, the um, breast um, petals. Yeah. Petals, yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, so we have some that are disposable. We have some that are not. Okay, and this uh, is not disposable. Yes, it's not. Now, let me it's ask. It's washable. It's, it's really washable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Talking about the colors, okay. Uh, is it advisable to always match your panty and your bra? Yeah, I mean, to feel sexy. <laughs> Why not? It's, 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 it's very nice. I mean, you, have you tried it before? Uh, Didn't you feel confident all day? You feel confident, but who's taking <laughs> it off to see? Listen. It doesn't have to be. But once you have it on, your confidence level is so high right. that you're on top of the world. Even when you go to work, you're working, like, putting all in, honestly. So it's not necessarily what it's going to say. You see it yourself. Right. Yes. So you see what you're wearing yourself. You see, yes. You feel good about yourself and it makes you confident. And whatever, what you're doing the whole day, trust me, you're going to maximize everything. Mm. Like, yes. Mm. Mm. So it doesn't matter. You have to feel good by yourself. I think I'm going to have to try it uh, pretty soon to see if it's true. Because I want to know if I'll feel pretty good. Because I'm wearing panty to match my bra. <laughs> The color, but the world is not seen. So what? Do I have to wear a transparent dress that will show? No. No, no. The world no. You are pumping the, yourself. You, you, you would yeah. know. Oh, you just pumping yourself. And what if you collapse on set right now? <laughs> <laughs> and you have to rip your own and multi color and give you CPR. <laughs> Once you feel good. So it was linked to collapse right here. Mm -hmm. At least you need to have a matching set. So when they are giving you the CPR, you you they, even the doctors will be so happy, <laughs> excited. <laughs> To revive you because you look so good. They won't let you go. Right. You're wearing this sexy outfit like, now. we can't lose it. Look at her lingerie. They'll just wake you up. But if not, mm. they try, you'll be like, no. See, you let them stop. You don't want me to let them cut the clothes let them die. Yeah, you let them help you. Because right. you're scared for them to see what you're wearing. You'll be put, like, mm. protect, like, protecting no. everything. No. <laughs> yeah, they want to take off your clothes to help you, to give you CPR. To, like, no. 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 They mm. need to give you first aid. You're scared because of the drawers and panties. You're yeah. wearing. So you yeah. need to um, be beautiful beneath every, mm. every single time. Is there a special panty for pregnant women? Yes, we do. Um, this panty comes up higher. So your belly, this part is stretchy. So your belly is in. Feel it. Okay. It's so comfortable. Um, very soft. Okay. Stretchy. Oh, okay. Yes. So your belly can fit in here yes. perfectly. All and right. you can use it after birth too. So it's just um, something Pushes that you can have okay. um, forever. For C-section, it comes up higher. You're very Around comfortable because it's not on the um, wedding section. Okay. And it's, it's a very nice one. Usually, they, most of them hate it because, if, I mean, if you're pregnant before, it's so, like, everything just irritates you. But once you find a very a fabric, good, good fabric, you, you, you won't even feel you have it on because mm. mm. your skin becomes sensitive when you are pregnant. Mm -hmm. So if you have a very good fabric, um, you will love panties and you need to wear panties because gems can go in there and it will kind of affect your baby eye. Right? It can affect your baby's eyes. Yes, yes. Some, you have infection during pregnancy. Especially the sexually transmitted ones yep. could, could affect the baby's eye. Really? Because affect the baby's eye, your, affect yeah. the baby's brain mm -hmm. sizes and all that. So, ladies need to take care of your panties. If not, your baby come out blind. Wow. Yeah. Well, we've learned a lot on this show today. If you don't wear the right panties when you're pregnant and you have an infection, it could affect your baby's eyes. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's round all our conversation up in a nutshell. Your final words before you leave, Dr. Wear beautiful panties. Wear clean panties. Take good care of your vagina. Your vagina. Don't spray that, please. It doesn't <laughs> need to be sprayed. Just bath well, eat well. Wear the appropriate size panties and appropriate um, fabric type for your skin. And you'll be good to go. Definitely. Yeah. Juliet. So just um, wear what is comfortable for you, for your own skin. Make sure what you're wearing doesn't irritate you that you want to hold, take it off. Um, make sure that you're wearing your right size, your body type. And um, clean your panties. Change them often change them someone say i love this my panty i can't get rid of it please it's about time you can find something that you love the same way and get rid of it juliet if somebody wants to 
you know, purchase panties or underwears at uh, Beautiful Beneath. Please, we need your number, where you are, even some of the things that you sell. Let them know. Oh, Beautiful Beneath, um, it's a safe haven for women and men. We want you to get there and feel beautiful um, from lingerie, sleepwear, um, bras and panties. And we are East Legon by the, of the ANC Mall Road. Um, we are the Laboni, Opsi the Zen Gardens, and in the Marina Mall at the airport. My telephone number is 020-419-8877. Please take the number again. They just picked their phone. <laughs> um, it's 020-419-8877. Um, Okay. And you can search Beautiful Beneath on, on Google when it was uh, bring you straight there. And all on social Marcus. media. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. So make sure you purchase your panties from Beautiful Beneath. I can assure you that their things are of high, high quality. That I can assure you. Because I actually purchased my underwears from Beautiful Beneath as well. So make sure you get yours from Beautiful Beneath. Let's prevent infections and all of that. Thank you so much for being here today. Super, super grateful. <laughs> we don't want any emergency cases. No. <laughs> <laughs> no spray. <laughs> no spray. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies. I'm Thank super you. grateful. We and uh, for you out there, please, as much as possible, make sure you take very good care of yourself. Keep your panties well. Get rid of it if you have to. Wear new panties. Wear the right size. Very important. Thank you for watching Changes. My name is Roslyn Feli. We'll be back again, but make sure you spread the good news. A big thank you to my production team. You know I heart you. I love you too, bit. Thank you for always putting this together. Enjoy the rest of your day. My name, once again, is Roslyn Feli. Bye.